So today I'm gonna to show you the edit page and filling out all the additional details when it comes to your business page account on LinkedIn. Now, if you have to still go through the process of setting up your business account, we'll have that video in the show notes down below. So we're currently here on the main page once our account is officially created and I circled over down here where it says edit page. This is where we're gonna be able to add additional information for our overall account. Now, one other thing we wanna keep in mind too as we're going through this, there is going to be a section here to be able to update your banner. And when you click on this little edit, it'll tell you the dimensions to go ahead and fill in this cover. Now, if by any chance you do not have access to a lot of creative tools, there is a service called Canva that will allow you to go through the process to able to fill this in. And I'll actually show you here in just one second. Now we're here on Canva. This will allow you to go ahead and create a design. So what you can actually do is on the top right here, it says create design. And then if you actually go down, you can actually click on a custom size here. And this is where you're gonna be able to enter in those dimensions to get exactly what you're looking for. So once you go ahead and have that uploaded, just something to keep in mind, we're gonna go ahead now and move over to the edit page. Now there are a few little actions that you can take up right over here, but they're mostly gonna also be in this edit page as well. So first and foremost, there's gonna be a section here for you to go ahead and update your overall business. You could describe what you're doing and how your business functions. You can see right over here, there's also gonna be a section here for you to say that you do not have a website if for any reason you don't. Although we do encourage if you do have access to a website for your business to have that linked in. Nice. That was not intended. <laughs> so you can see right over here, there's also gonna be an area for phone number when it was founded and being able to add uh, specialties. The more information you're able to put into this area, the better off you're going to be. So that way everybody is coming into your business has a better understanding of what you do and who you are. So you can see over here in this section here, it's gonna say workplace. It says help your company stand out and attract top candidates by highlighting your uh, your workplace and benefits. So if you are looking to hire, you can go ahead and toggle this on and then you can go ahead and let people know are you on-site, hybrid or remote. And then you can go ahead and do a description here, maybe link up to the company's policy page and be able to plug in some of this information. If this is not relevant to you, no worries. You can just have that shut off. So next up here is gonna be with commitments. You can go over here and check this out right here. It says attract top talent by showcasing what your organization cares about and what it really is like to work there. So you can go ahead and go through this process of filling out. You can go ahead and toss in a location. This also just gives you a really good indication whether you're working remote or have a physical location, tossing this in is a really good idea. You can also go ahead and say that you don't have an address. So like for ourselves, we work from our home, so we're not gonna go ahead and plug in our home address, but we can put it in our city and state if we would still like to. And then over here, uh, let uh, lead gen form, if you wanna go ahead and fill out one of the lead gen forms, as well as doing any type of hashtag as well. Now you can also do languages. So if you wanted to do different languages on this platform, you can go ahead and do that by clicking add language and choose the language you would like to use. Something to keep in mind though, if you are going to be choosing a language, you still have to actually fill in like the tagline and the description within that language. It doesn't do it automatically for you. So just something to keep in mind in there. If we kind of go back up to the top, there's gonna be the page information. You can see where your logo is if you need to change that at any point, maybe even your URL if you needed to with LinkedIn itself. And then if we wanted to click on buttons, this is going to be the uh, custom button right here. So you can choose if people want, if you want people to contact you, learn more, register, sign up, visit the website, visit the profile, or even visit the store and where that leads them to as well. So you can have that over there and you can see what this all looks like here. So that way, if you are changing it, so like, for example, if we want somebody to sign up for something, it'll have it for sign up. Now, one thing to also keep in mind too, is as you're editing, you can see things get uh, closed off over here. And that's because they wanna make sure that you either save this new change, or if you wanna discard the edits, and it'll take you right back to the section where you can go ahead and do all of these additional changes. Now, having all of these areas filled out as best as possible is going to have the highest possible engagement on your LinkedIn page just from the get go. So here at The Business Nerd, we love to see your business grow and thrive. And in order to continue to support you, we created this video right over here for you to learn about one of the best business banks when it comes to running your business.